p.m. on uh, Wednesday, April 19th. And I think, you know, we've got, the, we've got our issue block. Uh, we've got the issue block. We've got uh, some information I know that y'all are working on with the performance uh, review, uh, the pay, and then we have the arbitration language. And so um, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page, just because I know that y'all were meeting as, as recent as this morning, can y'all can we go ahead and do a, a quick caucus just to make sure that, like, especially our side, that we're all on the same page with understanding where we're at going forward. And um, so can we do that? Do y'all mind? Yeah. Or is there something we need to discuss before we go? No, I, I think that's fine. Uh, so y'all got a multi-purpose? Sure. We're, we multi we're going to go to room one. Okay. Okay. Anything else we need to talk about as a group before we caucus? Okay. All right. So we'll take a quick caucus and then we'll come back. But you can stay here. All right. So we're going. Um, According to my phone, it's a uh, one fifty-seven p.m. So we're back from caucus, and um, I'll give you a little update, kind of where we are, and y'all tell us, you know, where y'all are at on on the issues and what we still need to discuss. So, um, on the role of the arbitrator, I know we provided the language um, back to you that you had provided with one um modification when we left each other last time it was that we just we were substantively um in agreement it was just one it's a legal review of it and so we did do that and the only thing that we were asking to change is that number one um just so it's not discrimination because anything could be talked to as discrimination but more about unlawful discrimination just to make sure that that is um but that's clarified. So that's the only change we were looking at and wanted to see. I know y'all got this as well. Did y'all have any reaction to that or any thing we need to discuss further on it? So it was all the language we talked about last time. We kept in subordination and y'all agreed to keep in subordination and um, we just further defined it according to policy. So um, the only change is this highlighted part. And the only change that we're talking about is the unlawful discrimination. We kept the arbitrary capricious just like we all think needs to be in there. Yeah. I think we're good with that. So can we, are y'all to where y'all will sign this as tentative agreement then on that one? Uh, thank you. We, uh, I guess we want to go to the, uh, the pay step. Uh, Y'all want to do that before? Okay. Yeah. Let's go through all the issues and then sign them. Okay, yeah. we can do that. Yeah, let's, okay. So we'll, we'll let's go through the other issues. We'll do that. And, and so we'll, we'll put this to the side. And right now it sounds like we're, we're, we're coming to agreement on that. So yeah. thank you for working with us on on making some change there. Um, next with the sustained written reprimand um, to the A file and for promotional uh, performance review. I'm gonna ask Mr. Staff to talk about that one. It sounds like y'all had some discussion about how that plays in together. Yeah, so the performance review committee has met, I guess three times now, the most recent right before this meeting. And it sounds like the committee is, is so we had some draft language to go by for their agency. And we made some changes to that for agreeable to both sides. And uh, so where we really kind of left with it was working on a matrix to be used for formalizing how we score things in person background, performance background, that then that that. So those aspects of performance can then be given a numerical score that contributes to the promotion process, right? So for example, it's, it's a way that things like commendations, suspensions, letters of reprimand uh, can be given numerical weight and then added to your respect and score depending upon the circumstances. Sounds like the group um, on the POA side is, is pretty much set on the language of the policy, so we're good there. Um, they wanted a little bit of time to be able to review that with the membership and you guys. 
with the goal of being ready to have it typed up and being ready to sign for a tentative agreement at the next meeting, which we'll talk about dates later. Um, some things of significance in there. Um, I personally was, was pleased to see what I would characterize as um, significant weight attributed to suspensions on behalf of the POA members. They, which it tells me that they they view those things as serious and they don't have any counted against you if you're trying to promote them. Right? The suspensions right. are pretty rare and when they happen, they, they happen because something pretty serious happened. And so um, another thing we talk about the significant here is letters of recommend. Because as we decided to come to the letters of recommend won't move, won't move forward in this agreement, putting them in the A file. But what's critical about this is that they will be used as part of this process and weighted and then factored in. And I thought that kind of what we're done for today, and I also need to talk about it, obviously, but I feel like what we're done for today was significant. These letters of recommend will count, and they can count multiple times. You know, I don't mean to that because they don't happen all that often, but if you're somebody that gets multiple, you get to have a count this, right, as it should. So I think that. When you look at our interests, we, we all expressed interest in having the letters of recommend have some significance and some weight. And I think this got us again. Uh, you don't mind touching on that. Uh, um, we discussed that in detail, what y'all come up with. I, I think the only thing that um, we found was that. How would we grade that 20%? And I think that's just one of the things. The overall 20%. The overall 20%. Yeah, that was the only thing that we discussed of how what that would look like. And I think that um, you would bring that back to y'all committee to determine that. But um, I think that that's defined in the article, so I can provide that to you. Um, you mean the weight of it? Yeah, well, we, we know that it's 20%, right? Um, but what does that 20% look like? And, and, you know, um, one of the examples of the example so the, uh, right. the, so the example that, that we'll use is a person scores is extremely high. Uh, it, it really uh, really throws off the, uh, the, the numbers when you compare it to uh, the assessment center and the test field. Uh, and so what we were looking at was was capping that number. Obviously, you got to keep it at at one hundred percent, right? One hundred. So that that scale is both based on one hundred percent, but that the test scale and the assessment center is also based on that same one hundred point scale. So that one doesn't offset the other. That, that they are. They're all based on one hundred, and then that will multiply. Right. Before you get in, we, we we talked about not capping this at one hundred because you've got components that can bring you below as well. Uh, one one of which they are open and waiting very heavily, which is suspension. But I think that if y'all wanted, if y'all wanted to cap this component at 100 points, I think we can. They almost have to because we ran through some scenarios here in the back of the You could actually have somebody that then the weight of that 20% ends up far exceeding the weight of the other 40 and 40. So scenario based, you know, that, that could happen. So you really have each one's got to be at a point. So with we that, started there. Yeah. So, we, so, with, that, so with that said, I, I think we discussed that y'all going back to the committee, that's something that y'all can hammer out. Well or we don't least. necessarily need to do that because we started there. If y'all can just so where we started was look, there's positive components and negative components. Right. Okay. Right. Have the positive components equal to 100 points, right? And then the negatives would just come off of that. Does that make sense? If you had any negatives, which some people would. I think it's going to be more complicated than that because, you know, like say you had accommodations, you got 25 of them, but now you're going to go far beyond that 100%. Well, so we talked about capping accommodations. Yeah, so you're almost going to have to cap. Each group in case you would go with that. But I think we found the formula that could work. I think there's a different way that we could do it. Well, we looked at um, tension scheduling. We scheduled another meeting next Tuesday, the 25th. We have to talk about the differences. 
So we need that pretty quick. Yeah, they give the they express those, those dates of when you, you would need to have this stuff. So I think, I think we could probably have to sell over email. You know, if, if we have trouble getting the like, meeting together, if that's the only piece we're working on. And then, uh, yeah, well, I think the rest of it, we 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 agreed upon. Yeah, you know, just trying to figure out what it's the the scale of the makers that we're yeah. That we're, so if we come up with something like that and give it to you that give it to the committee and see if that can really work. That yeah, just, I, I think we'll try to do it later. Later. if it's too complicated, then maybe we'll put it together I mean we'd be kind of we're gonna be the ones that we would be working into doing the list we want to put the same to make sure that but I understand you know so it's just that that part probably better to do it as a meeting. Yes, yeah. right yeah. 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 HR, I mean, I, and I, I don't know this historically, but we've had these motions, right? Who at HR sits down and figures out that formula based on? So, Chris, Chris, and I work with it. I mean, Chris could help you guys with that. Okay, so, any of us so, work with it just because we oversee the post the eligibility list. Because, so. I mean, we, we did talk about, you know, getting with you guys and seeing it. Could actually help us come up with that. I mean, I don't know if there's a little bit of time after we get finished today since we're all here anyway, right? Maybe able to have a hug and talk about that. Yeah, I mean, we had a bunch of ideas, but it just seemed like we were missing just a little bit of something, you know, some outside eyes. You guys uh, might be able to help with that. Sure. But the significant, the significant change is having letters of reprimand and having suspensions considered for promotional purposes. So right. I mean, that's the interest that's what we're getting to is just the mechanics of it to make sure that um, everybody is, is able to ensure there's not any unintended consequences of us trying to achieve that interest, right? So I think it um, sounds like in concept, we're all on the same page. Right. It's just getting us- It was in agreement of that. Okay. Yes. So then y'all can get together and- Talk about that, whether it's after this meeting or teams or something like that, just to get together and do that. Um, we already came to agreement. Thank you all for streaming, allowing to stream the meetings. And so we'll include that in the ground rules next time so that going forward, that'll be there. Um, the term of the agreement, I know Linda provided some language on the duration, and that was adding um, the extra time. That's really just updating. It's just updating the date. That's it. So, did y'all have anything on that one, or is that one of those that we can also put to the side for signature on agreement? It just changed uh, the term from September 2025 to September 2026. You know, one thing, Stephanie, I didn't add in here that we may need to is that because it's going to start on an alternate date. Oh, but it's still upon ratification, so that would be right. Yeah, that's still right. Yeah. And then that it's going to end on September 30th, 2027. So 2026, and then they extend with the uh, option with the extender with the extender, right? So those were the only two changes. So we'll put that one to the side then, hopefully okay, for signature. So now we're on pay. So what I have um, that y'all worked on is adding the certification phase. Um, so first of all, we'll be doing the five, five and five uh, base pay, and that would be effective upon ratification. So that'd be in June. Um, then starting October 1st, we would be looking at the different certification phase. And that is um, going to year 155, 100, 155. And then year two is 60, 110, 160. And then 75, 150, 200 for year three. And this is basically a $50,000 difference over the current agreement. And that takes into account the other, the, the, the next year, the, the third year that we've had. So um, that takes that into account. 
Um, we're going to keep on call just within the general employee policy, so we're not going to change anything and meet and confer for, for that. So does that capture conception? So change was taken out. That would be a change, I guess. So it's going to be removed from the agreement, and it's just going to go to the general employee policy. Yes, thanks for that clarification. Uh, like the in, in the agreement, though, that it mirrors the city policy. Yes, we can say that it mirrors. We will leave the current language that will be in effect until October the 1st. And then October the 1st, we will make a note that it, that will be with the general employee policy. So then that, that's how that will be done. Okay, so we'll need to, of course, this will mean us needing to just kind of look at look at this and get it all in the agreement um, drafted the way that we need to get it for the agreement's sake. But is that capturing kind of where we are when it comes to pay compensation? The 555 gets printed out in the agreement on the page. That's right. Yes. Yes. And are y'all ready to... Agree to that once we get the article drafted and stuff like that too. Yes, we are. But um, I guess you'll include all of that in in the article, right? Yeah, I'll get that drafted when I get back to the office. So yeah. any anything anything else that we miss or anything that we need to talk about further on this because really she's going to just do like a little ta box just to say that we've got tentative agreement on the pay um so we can sign that too as we go through so this starts at first of October the first. Is that okay? Gotcha. So then we have to do Yeah, Jesse can sign that once you see once we see the. We're just going to do signatures on this document that we've all looked at to show that we part, we're agreeing once with what's on here. Oh, and then so I'll get you the well, that sheet, then you'll provide another one that's the scales, right? And then he can sign it. Okay. And well, I'll just write in here the increase. It's the five by five. Okay. Yeah. So the application will be a So for all intents and purposes, we've kept the 180 days, the extra 180 days. Um, we've now are agreeing to the arbitrator language so that the chief's judgment cannot be substituted by an arbitrator um, when it comes to instances of insubordination, um, untruthfulness, or criminal based allocations criteria. based on this criteria. We have the duration of the agreement going for the extra year with the year for ratification. And then we've got this performance um, review that now counts letters of reprimand and suspensions um, on a weighted basis for consideration of promotions, right? Okay. Anything else that we need to talk about for today or 
I know y'all y'all may want to talk some more on the performance review committee after this, but anything we need to do before we sign? No, the only again, the only thing was the uh, point how we're going to calculate that for the performance stuff, but, but overall, the, everything that they came up with that we spoke or discussed in detail seemed to be fine. And then um, I know we also talked about one more meeting just for the sake of the other articles that need to be drafted, the performance review, and then for the pay. So we get the pay done outside. Yeah. So the pay we can do outside. So what do we need to actually Chase, who's going to clean up that meeting? And her, that coverage. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. One of these two did believe this. <laughs> And I guess so. I'd ask uh, Ms. Basic to send one of you guys the, the format that the articles were already written in, like this, so that you, you can really type it anyway. Yeah, just put it in that format and then it's the last part of the video. Right. So we'll just have to plug it in because it goes with the second, but yeah. that's the bigger article, right? So I'll just give that one to send Now, that being said, I'm happy to help. I'm just to send me the thing that might be easier for you all to meet up on the and so just in case we get our committee members to do that. Sure. I mean, so, we so there's wanna, no confusion. Do we want to have a brief meeting after we get done? Sure. Did they talk about that? Yeah, we did. Okay. So do we need another meeting? We're going to vote on the performance stuff. Okay. Yeah. So we'll need one more meeting. So we have two choices that we were going to just run by your team and see what works for y'all. Okay. Um, because we're still going to bring this to council at the regular meeting on May 2nd for their discussion. Um, so we're going to have this May 2nd, and then they would be ratifying on May 16th. Uh, so the next meeting could be the 24th, Monday the 24th, and we said between 1 and 2. May 24th? No, April 24th, like Monday. Like, like Next week. Like next Monday. Next week. Mm -hmm. It's Monday the 24th from 1 to 2, or then the or Tuesday the 25th, um, 1 30 to 3. Y'all staff. Y'all staff. So would the 24th work for a short meeting for an hour? Hopefully we don't even need that. Monday. The 24th? Monday the 24th. Okay. 1 to 2. Okay, so we'll do the 24th, one to two. We're at. We'll see if we can carry the library. You'll tell us. Kristen holds the key, she'll tell you. So one to two. Yeah, one to two. Yeah. So I want to thank y'all for the, the time and the consideration and having an open mind on this. I mean, none of us wish that we were here doing this um, again. And I know we've all worked our best to try to work through this as best as we can and make sure that, you know, we're not living with interest that we can't all agree to and feel like we can justify. So um, very much appreciate y'all for talking with us and working diligently on this. Um, next steps, we will be bringing something to the council May 2nd. It will be scheduled on May 2nd for us to talk about it with them. They wanted a public meeting before they actually consider it on May 16th. Um, so that's that's the timing right now. We're looking at it being as part of the regular meeting versus the work session. Um, so we'll if something changes on that, we'll make sure and let y'all know as soon as possible. But it will be that date, and then the 16th will be the regular consideration during the regular meeting. Um, anything else that we need to talk about before we close out? Thank you.
We all just want to wait and sign everything on Monday. That way, yeah, that, that, that that we make sure everything is knock it all out, and we'll just do everything. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. that way, we have everything wrapped up. Everybody knows. Okay. So let's do that. And then the other thing I do want to mention to y'all is just that, um, you know, I've been really, really diligent about trying to make sure that we're fair between y'all and the buyer and you know the time i know y'all are different you know will always tell us y'all yeah, are yeah. different no matter who you talk to on either of y'all's uh teams but um i just i wanted to make sure that y'all do know that we did ask them that if we came to agreement on the arbitrator language we were asking them for the same thing um and also on the 180 days we asked for them to you know on that as well we asked for them on the financial stuff that we agreed to last time so just want to let y'all know with that um and then i was also looking at giving them you know the percentages that as far as base pay for them to work through we only nuanced because y'all got um four months that a little bit earlier so that may mean that they get a little bit of a difference because they want theirs more in base pay versus sad case so i just want to make sure that I'm transparent with y'all about some of those discussions. They're online. They're streaming the meetings just like y'all are. So y'all can see what we've talked about um, on, on there end too. So. <laughs> so any questions on any of that? Again, I just, I try to be transparent and make sure that y'all know where we are with that. And, and um, we're trying to make sure that we always treat, treat y'all as much as we can with parity. Things. Hey, this, you know, yeah, and then we'll wait to sign everything on the Okay, that one that you have to talk to Thank y'all. We'll go ahead and close out at 12 224. Thank you.